Hello one and all. I know it's been a while since I posted a tutorial here, but I've been busy on other projects including another YouTube channel called Interview TV, which is something that I am doing for one of our business sites called Interview. I do reviews and reports on different subject matters that we have articles about on the Interview site. Come and check it out and subscribe and show your support. It would be really appreciated. Alright, let's go ahead and jump into this Delphi lesson. This first one we're going to show you is how to connect a color dialog to a bit button to change the color of the font and the background of a panel and also to change the font color of a bit button as well as the background color of it too. So basically you're going to learn how to change the background and font color of a bit button and a panel which can also be applied to the uh, form itself. So let's go ahead and jump into this and get started. Okay, first thing we want to do is we want to make our form a little bit smaller. And let's go to the additional tab. And we want to grab a hold of our bit button. That's a little OK button with a check on it. We want to place that here. We want to duplicate this. We want to have two buttons. And we're going to change the caption of our top one to our font and then to our second one it's going to be our background and now what we're going to do here is that we're going to go back to our well, let's go to our win which we our standard and add in a panel and let's add in some text to our our uh, panel here this is a test so what we're going to do is that we're going to change our font color and our background color. Okay, I'm back, sorry for that. So what we're going to do first is that we are going to um, let's bring this up here, bring this down. Okay, what we're going to do here is that we are going to go to our font color and the first thing, well, hold it, we have got to go over to our dialog. I almost forgot about it. we got to add a color dialog to our form. So that's our color dialog. We're going to rename it to CD1. And this is going to be named to our BF1, which is uh, our button font. And then our button background is going to be BB. Let's name it BB1. Okay, now what we're going to do here first is that we're going to do a CD1.execute. Okay, and th what this is going to do is that once the button is clicked, it is going to execu execute, sorry about that, our color dialog. So now we're going to do our uh, bf1.font.color, colon equals cd1.color. <coughs> Excuse me. So what this is going to do is that it's going to execute our color dialog, and then it's going to take the color from our color dialog and it's going to apply it to our uh, our button font one font color. So let's go ahead and try that out. <coughs> Excuse me again. So on our button font we're going to change okay let's close out of that and let's add in this panel one dot font dot color dot color colon equals cd1 dot color okay now this is going to change the font color of both the panel and the button I almost forgot about that so let's go ahead and run it again okay and let's choose blue and there you go this is a test and font are both a different color and here we go and here we go Okay, so now let's go ahead and add in another button here. Uh, let's get rid of that one. Let's add in this button. Put a big old X on it. And we're going to do form one dot close. That way, whenever we want to close out of our form, just click there. Okay, now <clears throat> for our background, 
basically going to do cd one dot execute. Then we're going to do uh, bb one dot color. B one dot. Okay, so we cannot change the color of our bit button, but we can change the color of our panel. So we're going to do panel one dot color colon equals cd one dot color. So when we run this one, we're going to choose black, and then we need our font to show up, and there we go. So over here and get another color, change our font, and there you go. So, in this tutorial we learned how to change the font of our button, font of our panel, and then we learned how to change the color of our panel. And it does not seem that we can change the color of our, of our button, you can only add in glyphs, which is bit bitmap images and that will be done through here so you go here and then you load your bitmap image and then uh, go from there and so but anyway this is Wayne Barron for Dark Effects TV and I hope that y'all have a rocking new week and remember help stop the violence towards women gays lesbians and those that are different and help to bring a stop to bullies in our schools and workplace thank you and y'all enjoy